Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Quick Hits with The Rock and Tom. Brought to you by, by mybookie.ag. They bought us a ticker, promo code PAT, 100% match on your first deposit up to $1,000. Rock's filling in for Pat. Pat is in LA promoting the greatest comedic sports documentary of all time, which is on pre-order right now. Go to patmcafeeshow.com. $3.33. You buy that documentary, it comes out October 10th. When you buy that documentary, you're also entered into the greatest raffle of all time. You got Super Bowl tickets, two Super Bowl tickets, two World Series tickets, two WrestleMania tickets, $1,000 free play from my bookie, Lisa Mattress, Movement Watch, signed jersey from Adam Vinatieri, a signed bat from the game. I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. It's a lot. There's a lot in the raffle. It's the greatest raffle of all time. Go do that right now. Now, with Pat being out, I decided I was going to do something a little different here. We get real artsy on quick hits when Pat's gone. Let's see what I can do here. Week five was a great one, so I thought, how about a poem with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? You probably know him. Let's start in Cincy, where the dolphins did swim, looking for a hard-fought win. Up 14, heading into the fourth quarter, they thought everything was in order. Oh, how wrong they were. That 14-point lead was gone in a blur. To Carolina, the Giants did go to do battle with a great foe. Odell couldn't help himself, talking shit with Wheezy. Graham Gano didn't care. 63 yards for the win, and he made it look easy. Up to Buffalo, where the Bills do roam, Josh Allen is the best at diving in the end zone. Let's take a short trip down to Pitt, where the Falcons did look like shit. Ben threw touchdowns to AB and Juju. I enjoy cows that go moo moo. While we are here, let's stay in the north, where the Ravens and Browns couldn't end in the fourth. Is it possible that Baker is the savior? In a past life, I'm pretty sure Joe Flacco was a traitor. Let's take a trip over to Detroit where Mason Crosby's ass was quite toit. Give them credit, Lions played well. Playoff hopes, no chance in hell. Let's go to KC where it was wet. Chiefs are the team you should have bet. They dominated the Jags like straws do tortles. You know who didn't help? Blake Bortles. Don't think anyone cared about the game in the Big Apple. I'm gonna go to the gas station. Do you want a Snapple? Do I, do I want a Snapple? No, I said Big Big Apple. So no? No. Doing a show. All right. Hmm. Okay. Sorry about that. <sighs> We're almost done. To the late games we go. LA Chargers, they put on a show. John Gruden might be a bust, Find a pass rush, he must. In Philly, a championship rematch we had. In all honesty, the Eagles do look pretty bad. Niners and Cards were in the Bay. There's really not much to say. Bethard versus Rosen. Watch another game I would have chosen. Rams and Hawks in the Northwest. This is what Seattle is known for best. Grunge, coffee, suicide, and rain. Remember when Russ Wilson chose to abstain? Until marriage, he couldn't have sex. The locker room can't listen to Ciara's ex. Rams won, actually a good game. Early for MVP, that's my claim. I was waiting all day for a Sunday night for a Texas size fight. On one side you have Watson, Hopkins, and Watt. On the other, Prescott, Zeke, Jason Garrett, world's biggest twat. Fourth and one, possibly for the win. Nah, I'll just stand here, clapping with this dumbass grin. Punt it to Houston, and maybe I lose. Oh, that's the option I choose. Well, that's quick hits for the day. Remember to order the dock, 333. That's all you have to pay. See you tomorrow. Pat will be back. Order the dock. Big thanks to mybookie.ag. Mop.